In this video, we're going to take a look at dividing fractions by whole numbers. Our first problem here is 1 half divided by 5. And so it's asking how many 5s are in 1 half. So I set up my problem here. Here's 1 half divided by 5. And again, using my understanding of the algorithm and my multiplicative inverse and reciprocals, I know that 1 half stays the same change my division to multiplication, and then I find the reciprocal of 5. And 5 is the same as 5 over 1, so the reciprocal would be 1 over 5. So I multiply 1, multiplied by 1 is 1, 2 multiplied by 5 is 10, and so my answer is 1 tenth. There is 1 tenth 5s in 1 half. 2 thirds divided by 5. How many 5s are in 2 thirds? So again, set up my problem of 2 thirds divided by 5. Keep the first fraction. Change the division to multiplication. And look for my reciprocal or my inverse of 5, which again is 1 over 5. 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. 3 multiplied by 5 is 15, and so my answer is 2 fifteenths. 3 fourths divided by 4. Again, how many 4s are in 3 fourths? Um, set up my problem. And again, keep my first fraction as it is. Change that to multiplication and find the reciprocal or flip my second number or my yeah, my second number. And again, that's four over one, so that would become one over four. Three multiplied by one is three. Four multiplied by four is sixteen. And so my answer would be three sixteenths. So here we have 5 sixths divided by 8. And again, using our multiplicative inverse reciprocals, and then we'll simplify if we need to. So I have 5 sixths divided by 8. Again, first fraction stays as it is. And multiplicative means this is multiplication. And inverse or reciprocals means that I'm changing this 8 to 1 over 8. 5 multiplied by 1 is 5. 6 multiplied by 8 is 48. I can't simplify because I don't have a number that will go into both 5 and 48 evenly. And so then my answer is 5. 48. Here I have 3 fifths divided by 5. Again, first fraction stays as it is. Multiplicative means that I change my division to multiplication. And inverse or reciprocals means that I flip the second number, which would be 1 fifth. 3 times 1 is 3. 5 times 5 is 25. I do not have a number that will go in evenly to both 3 and 25, so my answer is 3 25ths. Here I have 9 tenths divided by 3. So 9 tenths divided by 3. Again, keep the first fraction as it is. Multiplicative means change this to multiplication. Inverses or reciprocals would be 1 over 3. 9 times 1 is 9. 3 times 10 is 30. Now on this one, both of these numbers can be divisible by 3 because 9 divided by 3 is 3, 
and 30 divided by 3 is 10. And so my final answer would be 3 tenths. Now I have 10 eighths divided by 5. And again, this one stays as 10 eighths. Multiplicative means I'm changing that to multiplication. Inverse or reciprocals means that I'm changing this to one-fifth. 10 times 1 is 10. 8 times 5 is 40. And both of these are divisible by 10, which gives me 1 here and 4 here. So my final answer is 1 fourth.